China just built undersea tunnels over 16,000 feet long. That's over three miles of tunnel drilled beneath the ocean floor. To put that in perspective, you could stack five Empire State Buildings end-to-end -end and still not reach that depth. This isn't just another infrastructure project. This is the longest undersea tunnel ever constructed. But drilling that deep underwater should have been impossible. Imagine trying to drill a tunnel three miles beneath the ocean. The water pressure alone at that depth is over 7,000 pounds psi. That's enough force to crush a car into a metal cube. Every inch deeper you go, the pressure increases. Every foot of tunnel you carve out has millions of tons of water and rock pressing down on it. But pressure wasn't the only problem. The rock formations at that depth are unpredictable. You've got layers of granite, sandstone, and fault lines that shift without warning. One wrong calculation, one weak point in the tunnel wall, and the entire structure could flood in seconds. Workers would have less than a minute to escape. Most wouldn't make it. China faced this exact challenge with the Taizhou Bay Undersea Tunnel Project. They needed to drill beneath one of the most geologically unstable underwater regions in the East China Sea. Previous tunnel projects had hit a maximum depth of around 10,000 feet. China was planning to go 60% deeper. Engineers worldwide said it couldn't be done. The technology didn't exist. The risk was too high. China built it anyway. The final measurements? 16,400 feet of tunnel carved directly through underwater bedrock. That's not just longer than any undersea tunnel before it. It shattered the previous record by over 5,000 feet. And the machines they used to do it were unlike anything the world had ever seen. The tunnel boring machines China built for this project were monsters. Each one measured 48 feet in diameter. That's wider than a four-story building laid on its side. The cutting face alone weighed over 4,000 tons. These weren't just machines. They were underground factories that could chew through solid rock. But size wasn't enough at 16,000 feet below the surface. The pressure at that depth would crack normal steel like glass. So China engineered a shield system that could withstand over 8,000 PSI. The boring machine's outer shell was reinforced with tungsten carbide teeth that could cut through granite like butter. Each tooth cost $15,000. Each machine had over 200 of them. Here's where it gets crazy. These machines didn't just drill. They installed the tunnel as they went. Behind the cutting face, robotic arms lifted 20-ton concrete segments into place, sealing the tunnel walls before water could seep through. The entire process happened in complete darkness three miles beneath the ocean, with zero room for error. But China wasn't done. They built ventilation systems that pumped fresh air through 18 miles of tunnel, while simultaneously removing toxic gases from the drilling process. They installed sensors every 30 feet that monitored structural integrity in real time. One crack, one shift in pressure, and the entire operation would shut down automatically. The machines could drill forward at a rate of 40 feet per day through solid bedrock. That's almost 2,000 feet per month. At that speed, they were carving out tunnel faster than any undersea project in history. But operating these machines at extreme depth created problems no engineer had ever faced before. Drilling started from both ends simultaneously. Two massive boring machines, each working toward the other through three miles of underwater rock. If the calculations were off by even a few feet, the tunnels would miss each other completely. 16,000 feet of work would be worthless. The first phase was the easiest. Upper rock layers were relatively stable. The machines chewed through sedimentary rock at 50 feet per day. Concrete segments locked into place behind them. Everything went according to plan. Then they hit the fault line. At 8,000 feet deep, the eastern boring machine encountered a fractured zone where the rock had shifted millions of years ago. The pressure readings spiked. Cracks appeared in the tunnel walls. Water started seeping through the concrete segments faster than the pumps could handle it. The machine had to stop. But China wasn't done. Engineers pumped liquid concrete into the fractured zone under extreme pressure, essentially creating artificial bedrock around the tunnel. It took three weeks. They used enough concrete to fill an Olympic swimming pool. But it worked. The cracks sealed. The pressure stabilized. The machine started drilling again. Here's where it gets crazy. At 12,000 feet, both machines were drilling through pure granite. 
The tungsten carbide teeth were wearing down after just 40 feet of progress. Each tooth replacement required shutting down the machine for six hours. At this depth, that meant keeping hundreds of workers in a pressurized environment, three miles underwater, breathing recycled air, waiting. The teams worked in shifts around the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for 18 months straight. The noise inside the tunnel was deafening. The heat from the machinery pushed temperatures to over 100 degrees. The air was thick with rock dust, despite the ventilation systems running at full capacity. Then came the most critical phase of the entire project. When the two boring machines were within 300 feet of each other, the drilling slowed to a crawl. Every foot had to be perfect. The alignment had to be exact. Laser guidance systems measured the distance between the two machines every six inches. The margin of error was less than two inches over 16,000 feet. The final breakthrough happened at two in the morning. The eastern machine's cutting face broke through into the western tunnel. The alignment was off by 1.3 inches. After three miles of drilling through underwater bedrock, they'd essentially hit a bullseye. The tunnel was complete. But the numbers behind what they'd just accomplished were even more staggering. 16,400 feet of tunnel, carved through solid bedrock beneath the ocean floor. In 18 months, to put that in perspective, the previous world record for undersea tunnel depth was 10,000 feet. China didn't just break that record, they obliterated it by over 60%. The English Channel Tunnel, one of the most famous undersea projects ever built, maxes out at 9,000 feet below sea level. China's tunnel goes almost twice as deep. The sheer volume of rock they removed is almost incomprehensible over 4 million cubic feet of granite, sandstone, and bedrock. That's enough material to fill 12 city blocks stacked 20 stories high. They used 800,000 tons of concrete to line the tunnel walls. That's more concrete than was used to build the Hoover Dam. But here's what really matters. China proved you can drill at depths that were considered impossible five years ago. The technology they developed, the shield systems, the pressure management, the precision drilling at extreme depth, it's all replicable. This wasn't a one-time achievement. It's a blueprint, and they're already planning the next one. 20,000 feet deep, four miles of tunnel beneath the Taiwan Strait. Construction starts next year. What China just built wasn't just the longest undersea tunnel ever constructed. It was proof that there's no depth too extreme, no distance too far and no engineering challenge too impossible when you're willing to drill straight through it.